trouble? Call him up. Turn up on something or go down after him! Better put a tourniquet on him, are you? Is that bad, Jackie? Only Billy here, Captain. Good thing Devil Clam not get stuck on Bone Head. It's pretty clumsy, though, for sure. Pretty deep cut. We better get him ashore fast. You're a mighty lucky young fella, Jackie. Once a tridactna clamps down, that's usually the end. How come you didn't see him? Oh, Jackie, in too much hurry. No worry about Devil Clam. Worry like anything about octopus. You mean you actually seen old evil eye down there? Oh, you betcha. Jackie looked for treasure chest. Find one. Him empty. See another far inside. Start for him. Then see evil eye. According to the book, that chloride I dumped into the wreck should have killed the octopus. Guess that devil hasn't read enough scientific books to know that he can't stand chloride. Someday Jackie give evil eye fellow belly full of knife. Then we cow cow him for sure. You ask me, the one we ought to cow cow is the king of this benighted island. He knew that thing was down there in the wreck, but he didn't say a word. King Lenore is a very busy man with all those words of his. I guess he just forgot to tell us. King Lincoln, uh, King Lincoln, ha! <laughs> Fat lot of slave freeing he's done. Why, he's got more slaves at his feet uh, of the feminine gender than Boston's got beaten. Now, all up, Mr. Snow, you've been a perfect misery ever since we started this venture. Well, I don't trust him, David, and that's a fact. You're buying the salvage rights to a sunken schooner supposed to be carrying a, a treasure in gold. Well, that's bad enough. What's the matter, Mr. Snow? Don't you want to get rich? We're traders, not treasure hunters. Better stick to trading. If we haul this gold out, we'll make more money than we would do in ten years of regular trading. If there's any gold to haul out. Well, we know the gold was aboard the ship when it sank. How do we know Honest Abe Linicona hasn't beaten us to it? How do we know that? We don't. I trust you to think about it. Well, if the King's got all that gold, maybe I can collect some of my winnings from last night. Winnings? How come you got winnings? You were watch aboard last night. What can I help but if he swam out with his own deck of cards? And don't you get any trouble with your gambling. With Jackie laid up, we're a man short as it is. Seriously, David, I think King Lenicona is up to something. Well, seriously, Ellie, you, I think you're right for once. Well, you gotta look at the palace and find out what it is. Ah! Why are you here? Spooks. When the hoonies don't come out in the daytime, I must be daydreaming. Oh, the fellow get howl in here. Ah, caught you, didn't I? What are you spying on me for? King's orders, huh? Oh, the fellow, it's just so. I, I, I saw you come with a big clam. Think maybe you want cook? I cook. Oh, you cook too, huh? Then what were you hiding in the bushes for? Me here come, me here you come along run like big bull, me run and hide. Well, you don't have to run and hide from me, honey. Why, I'm known from far and wide. And you're plenty tall and wise. Well, uh, you're not so bad yourself. What name fella belong you? Miliami. Miliami? Well, that means Miriam. Now, don't tell me you were bought and taught by the missionaries. Hmm. Miliami knows things missionaries forget. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, we know. What's my name? Why, Captain Grief. Captain David Grief. And that's my schooner out there, the Rattler. Would you like to come aboard and... <laughs> oh, Lekiki. 
Ilya may no need missionary tell her you plenty about summer, Captain Grease. Oh, not such a bad fella. Won't you get to know me? Maybe you like come alongside Miliami house? Sit up a glass picture? Would I? <laughs> Your Majesty, Captain Grief. Well, you any other merchant trader, Captain Grief? I should probably try my bad bits de mer on you and offer you some trite words of welcome. But, alas, you know me. I know you well enough not to play rugby football with you again. I won't forget the last couple of scrummages. <laughs> In Auckland, wasn't it? I just returned from Mudlin. I played with that New Zealand outfit just for fun. The way I heard it, you won a lot of money. Come, come, Captain. Let's not put me in the position of appearing boastful. Besides, it's not really betting if one wages on oneself, is it? Bush Telegraph still working. Bush Telegraph is too old-fashioned. I prefer more modern methods of espionage, such as employed by my European contemporaries. I had a man outside your house. I do hope your native boy was not seriously injured. That's what I came to see you about, Your Majesty. I know. You want to know if I framed you on that wreck site, isn't that it? Putting it a little harshly, isn't it? Salvage is harsh business, Captain. I bought the wreck of the Sally Ann from Captain Holcroft's brother. Uh, nothing of value down there except... A large chest of gold morals of Akbar. So I wasn't the only one that knew. No man is alone in anything, Captain. It uh, may even be that I know more about the morals than you. Well, you probably do at that. I'm always ready to learn. A great Mughal of India, the conqueror Akbar made his own coins, as was his divine Muslim right. Beautiful things they were, too, Captain. Mm, funny thing, hearing that from the lips of another king who believes in his own divinity. I trust you do not mock me. I never mock my friends. Thank you. There are a set of portrait morals showing the mogul bearing a cup of wine. Which reminds me, Captain, your cup is empty. The most beautiful of these are the ones Akbar permitted his favorite wife, Nurja Han, to strike in her own name. You should see them, Captain. They are truly magnificent. Then you've already salvaged them. But of course. There's no further need for me to stay on the island. I didn't say I had them all, Captain. If you think I'm going to risk my men's lives, since you can add a few more coins to your collection, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Uh, you are so hasty, my dear fellow. Hear me out. Now, the coins now in my possession, and those that still remain on board the wreck, will be yours, if you do what I ask. What's the catch? Naturally, there is a catch. In this world, one gets nothing for nothing, not even a king. Uh, are you interested, Captain? What's the proposition? Very well. Your Majesty? I am afraid my story will have to wait. Lunch is ready. Uh, you will join me, of course. Oh, it's a pleasure. Well, let's start with the octopus. Now, I presume that you have... Uh, my children. I presume you have seen the beast. Oh, yes, yeah, quite a monster. Quite. Now, I want you to kill him for me and make it look as if I did it. You need a bit of thunder, huh? Or oh, face, as the Chinese call it. But it's more than that. You see, with my people, a new king, in order to prove himself worthy of the throne, must commit some act of valor within the first year of his reign. Now, my year is nearly up. And you picked old evil eyes, your little son. <laughs> Bless me, no. The king does not decide such things. 
The high priest does. And they gave you the octopus to be served up on a platter. Yes. And it is up to me to bring his eye and place it on the altar. Now, Grief, you know me. I am no coward. I will take on any man in the world in mortal combat and give him choice of weapons. But to face this monster, this slimy creature, God of it fair makes me ill. You want me to kill him for you? Precisely. And if I do, I get the gold that you have, plus that what's left in the rack. Yes. But there is just one thing. Under no circumstances must it be known that you killed the beast and not me. If that fact becomes known, your life is forfeit. It's a pretty exorbitant price to pay just to save your honor. Oh, it's not that. It's just that evil eye was marked for the king, which makes him sacred, taboo to anyone else. You are familiar with the penalty for breaking a royal taboo? Oh, well, the methods vary from island to island, but the results usually the same. Precisely. And I assure you, my dear fellow, the high priest has dreamed up some refinements that... Oh, well, there is no need to go into that. Is it a bargain? Well, frankly, Lacuna, I'd like to throw you in your own lagoon. A lot of money tied up in this venture. It's a deal. Holy hick you, Mr. Snow. Captain Street <sighs> Matt, for sure you take chance with Evil Eye. Somebody's got to get rid of that beast before we can get into the Sally Ann. Might as well be me. Well, why not wait until Jackie's leg more better? Two men kill octopus much better than one. You scrape that leg of yours on Carl and it won't heal for six months. You wait for Bowley, please. You think I'm too old to be diving after an octopus, don't you? Why? Well, let me tell you something. A man's only as old as he feels, and right now I feel like a young buckle mate. That's not true. You want to kill octopus before you kill Captain Green. Well, he'd do the same for me, wouldn't he? To say for all of us, but you not go. We, we need you, Mr. Snow. Oh, do you now? It's mighty nice of you to say that, Jackie, but I'm not ready for the old sailor's home yet. I'll bring you back the eye itself. I just spotted Mr. Snow heading for the beach with a harpoon in his hand. What's he up to, Jackie? He said go kill old evil eye. What's the matter with that first mate? He's too old for that foolishness. You be careful too, Bolly. Old evil eye, he put armor on you. Hug, you foul. I will, and if I spot old evil eye, I'll bite him right between the eyes. I read somewhere in a book that that stuns him. Remember what Mr. Snow said about octopus? What's that? Maybe octopus fellow, no read book. <laughs> Your Majesty. You have notified the outlining islands that tomorrow I kill the evil one. Yes, Your Majesty. But is not octopus I come to talk about. Is my daughter, Miliani. Ah, yes, Miliami. I have been intending to talk to you about her. She is a very beautiful child. Oh, she no child anymore. She grow up now uh, to be marry up. Precisely. And is she willing to marry? Oh, she want to marry. Good. Then all that's left for us is to decide upon a dowry and name the date, huh? Oh, you not uh, understand. Uh, Miliami, uh, she want to marry up, but... Uh, not with you. What? Your daughter would refuse me? Unthinkable. Oh, maybe so, but she like another fellow. Captain Grief. Captain Grief? That meddlesome blighter? Oh, he very nice fellow. He's 
big, and he's rich, and he's tall. He'll be one head shorter when I get finished with him. Ah, ah. Go to the lagoon and bring back the howlies. the leg? Oh, better. But inside, no feel so happy. What's the matter, girl trouble? Me no bully, fellow skipper. Oh, bully? Well, where's Mr. Snow? Make big secret, but Jackie no can keep. Both fellows go for kill all evil eye. Take spears. What a pair of idiots. I could have expected that that lad had a bully, but I thought Mr. Snow was old enough to have more sense. That will make him trouble, Captain. Mr. Snow say him not too much old. I well, just made a deal to kill the octopus, but if anyone sees us do it, our lives won't be worth a plug nickel. Captain, sir? Yeah. Please, you don't tell Mr. Snow him too much old. A man's as old as an octopus feels in a bit. Oh, here comes the captain. Yeah. Better batten down for a blow. I can read the storm warnings from here. Ahoy, Captain. About to join in the fun? Who told you two charter heads to come out here? It's all my fault, David. It was my idea. Old evil eyes taboo, and no one can kill him but the king. I thought the king wanted us to do it. Yeah, he does, but he doesn't want anyone to know about it. Now, let's get out of here before someone sees us. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's too late now. Look. Hey, you, Captain Gabe. The king wants to see you. Well, there we are. You don't listen to me, you pair of lunkheads. I do now. I tell Baba, I going marry Captain Grief. So he tells the king and king be jealous. But Baba, he, he think Captain Grief rich. So he fix with king, so I marry Captain Grief. Only you tell me it's not Captain Grief I marry, but a fellow named Baulia. Oh, yeah. I think I gotta go someplace else. Baulia, you're not such a bad fellow. He saved Jackie's life. <laughs> Why for you one married fellow have too much wife now? I don't know. Because <laughs> I love him. Why ain't it? Boop, pull it. Um... All right, all right. We fix. We see real Captain Green. He can't fix. He can fix anything. You bet. Come. Now. You see, Captain Gray, he fixed all. Uh oh. What means uh oh? Look like Captain Grief, no fix nothing. He ain't fix himself. <laughs> you know worry. Jackie, he think of something. I think. What's this all about? I was only carrying out my part of the deal. We were out to get the octopus for you. I am not talking about octopus. No ships at sea, no sealing wax. Or cabbages, or kings. Look, uh, what's wrong? You have the gall to look me in the eye and ask me that. After skulking around behind my back, poaching on my royal prerogatives. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't, eh? Papuki! Is that man your daughter wants to marry here? Miliami. She tell me his name. Speak it. Captain Grief. Why, David, you never told me. If this is someone's idea of a joke, can I be excused, please? Uh-oh. So, you deny knowing Miliami, Treasurer of Popoki's daughter. I, I've got an awful bellyache. Please, sir, Mr. King, can I go to jail, please? Do you know Miliami, Mr. Popoki's daughter? Well, 
well, in a manner of speaking, but not very well. We just talked a minute or two, and then we... And you told some poor innocent child that you were Captain Grief? I hardly think poor innocent child fits our Miliani. You know, this island would be a lot more peaceful if your daughter were not allowed to run around loose. What's in that sack? A present for you, my king. to do it. Now I lose everything, my throne, everything. And you, you will lose your pretty little head for breaking the royal taboo. Oh! oh. Listen, Lincoln. You keep still. It is all your fault. You, you and your men. All is lost. My throne my pretty little Miliami. Now listen to me, you haven't lost a thing. Because the Miliami here can be an answer to your problem. How so? Tell me, how so? You remember the gold coins of Akbar? The deal is off, Captain Brief. You will not get your hands on one coin. You have failed me. You remember the Mogul allowed his wife to strike a coin in her own name? Stop, stop right there. Let me say it. I am the king. I must say it. What a king can do, a king's wife can also do. Oh, what else is she but an extension of the king? Of course, my Miliami had every right to get the eye of the octopus in my name. There is only one thing wrong, my king. I am not your wife. A mere technicality. Summon the high priest at once. to marry me, don't you, my dear? It is my fondest wish. <laughs> so, so, uh, the wedding will be in a few minutes. You are invited to come. Oh, uh, those gold pieces that you got out of the wreck. I can't talk business with you now. I'm getting married in a few minutes. Speak with me after my honeymoon. You know, there's something that still bothers me here. That little slip of a girl like that killed the octopus. You promise not to tell nobody? Mm -hmm. Octopus fella, he already plenty dead. Chlorate, too much for him. <laughs> <laughs> 